Hello guys, uh, today in this video we are going to discuss about Laplacian operator. So Laplacian la operator is nothing but the dot product of two del operators, del dot del. So if you will substitute the value for del i cap del by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z dot i cap del by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z. So in a dot product, as we know, only x, y, and z component, they exist. This will give you del square by del x square plus del square by del y square plus del square by del z square, right? So this can be written as del square this way and the values are given as this right so this is known as the laplacian operator we call this as laplacian operator now you can operate this laplacian operator in on any scalar so you can write what is del square phi so if i will operate it on a scalar quantity phi then we can write it as del square phi by del x square plus del square phi by del y square plus del square phi by del z square. Similarly, if I will operate it on a vector quantity like this, then del square a by del x square plus del square a vector by del y square plus del square a by del z square. So this way we can write. Okay, so simply write uh, what is the phi value. Uh, as a function of x, y, z or the vector e value as a function of x, y, z and then substitute and, and then substitute here in del square phi or del square a to write the value after applying the Laplacian operator on it. In addition to the, this, let us see some more uh, properties that involves uh, the del operator. Okay, so here if I write what do you mean by what is a uh, curl of gradient of a scalar field, gradient of a scalar field, curl of gradient of a scalar field. Let us uh, start with the scalar field, okay, here you need to write phi, gradient of a scalar file that will be del phi and then curl of this thing, that means del cross curl is this. So this will give you zero. You can easily verify this, you know what is del phi. So two steps you need to do, del phi is i cap, del phi by del x plus j cap, del phi by del y plus k cap, del phi by del z. This is our del phi value, okay, gradient of a scalar. Now, if you want to find out del cross del phi, so this call can be kept in a determinant in this form, a i j k, and then you got your del component of del, that is del by del x, del by del y, del by del z, and whatever components here we got for x, y, z. So that gives you del phi by del x, del phi by del y, del phi by del z. You exp expand the determinant and you will get it to be zero, right? You can verify it. Well, uh, one more uh, property we can see that is a divergence of curl of vector field, okay? So as I said, you start from one side, vector field that is a curl of a vector field that gives you del cross A and divergence means del dot. So del dot del cross A, you need to find out. This also gives you zero, you can easily verify this. Again, same two steps, del cross A, you can write this to be i cap, j cap and k cap and del, the components of del, del by del x, del by del y and del by del z you got and vector e x, e y, e z suppose. Okay, so we got this del cross a and then del dot you expand it, you will write in terms of like i cap and whatever is there plus j cap whatever is there from the determinant, I'm not doing it, you will do it, try it by your own, it's simple, okay? Then when we operate del dot of this, you know, del cross A, take those specific 
x components and y components and the z component here okay so that will only exist okay so you just write those and you see whatever you know no terms will cancel each other and you can verify that it is zero okay fine uh, one more property we can say curl of curl of vector field curl of curl of a vector field if you will find out as you can see curl of a vector field we can write this to be del cross a right and then again curl of that thing so del cross del cross a if you write this you can show that this is you know uh, del operated on del dot a del dot a is known as divergence of a vector field and gradient of divergence of a vector field minus del square a just now we did this is known as the laplacian operator so you can take the left hand side and um, show that it is equal to right hand side by expanding or you just take right hand side and show that um this is equal to left hand side this way you can verify the uh, another one we can see divergence of cross product of two vectors divergence of cross product of two vectors so if i want to find out the divergence of cross product divergence means del dot right cross product of two vectors a cross b right so um, this way it can be shown that this is b corl a b dot corl a b sorry b dot corl a corl a is del cross a and this is dot right minus a dot corl b del cross b right you can easily show that you start with this and arrange now uh, this to be the right hand side or you start with right hand side and uh, arrange it to be del dot a cross b or else you show simply lhs is equal to rhs okay so that will also you can show so these are few properties of the del uh, operator and the laplacian operator involved with uh, you know scalars and vectors so we are going to use these uh, you know properties somewhere in the introduction of electromagnetism further okay in next um, video we will continue with some you know line integration um, surface integration and uh, volume integration okay thank you for watching